Please rise as you are comfortable. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. They put Jesus to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day. Alleluia! Christ is risen! Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Welcome to the resurrection of our Lord, dear church. It is good to be together today. A special welcome to those of you who are visiting with us and a welcome to those of you who are joining us from home. This is the day where death is conquered and where life lasts forever. Welcome to worship.
Children of God, we have a calling and a purpose. God invites us into celebrating God's grace in Jesus Christ, accepting all unconditionally, and growing in God's call to serve the world. This is who we are, and at the same time, this is who we strive to become. We are the church, a people that are called, gathered, and sent in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with Christ, and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Children's time. If the kids would like to meet me up front on the blue carpet, I'll meet you there with my stuff. Oh yeah, we're getting ready. Okay. Hopefully everybody can see. All right. Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you today? Blessed by God today and every day. What is today? What even is today? Easter Sunday. Yes. What do we celebrate on Easter Sunday? We celebrate Yes, Jesus is alive! You know, we're going to hear the story from Matthew a little bit later, but I thought we could help the congregation hear it more than once today. So are you willing to help tell the story? Let me, yes, I know, you see the swords! Let me, let's show everybody. Found these in the basement, yep. <laughs> the people who are least likely to use them are the ones that will be holding them this morning. Okay, so here's the characters that we need. We need... Two Roman soldiers, and you must promise not to use these. Pretty much your job is going to be to lay on the ground in fear. Uh, I know, it's just, it's not as fun anymore. Okay, whoever would like to be a soldier, you may take a sword. I already have a, I have a sword at my house. You already have a sword at your house? Well, you might be a perfect candidate for this job. Okay, we need somebody to be the sun, to hold this in a way that makes you look like the sun. Anyone feeling it? No? Oh, I'm not going to have to do this myself, am I? Okay, somebody will be the sun. We have an auxiliary sun if we need it. We need somebody. Okay, could, could you just show me what joy looks like on your face? All of you up here. What does joy look like? Smiling. Smiling. Big smiles. Giant smiles. All the, you'll be joy? Great. Okay. All right. Fear. Show me your best fear face. Oh my goodness, I'm scared just looking at you. Fear. Okay, you. Yes. Fear. Excellent. Okay. You'll know. Okay, now. <clears throat> Someone will have to be Jesus. Your job will be to appear and say greetings. Let's practice saying greetings out loud on three. One, two, three. Greetings. Oh, wow. It's going to be tough. Um, yeah, you just, who would like to be Jesus today? I know. Okay, great. Here you go. Put this on. And you've got your great Jesus is coming with the bunny today. Excellent. Good. Okay. Ahem. We need other Mary. Your job is to walk around and have this sign on you and be a little bit scared and a little bit joyous. Anyone other Mary? Uh, no, please. Uh, other Mary will, will join us. Oh, but we have Mary Magdalene as well. Somebody willing to put this on, walk around. You're going to share the good news of Jesus, so this is really important. Okay, fine. I guess I'll be Mary. Okay, we need an angel. I brought this. Somebody to wear. Anyone? Angel? Angel. Okay. Okay. If you didn't get a job... That means you are going to be the earthquake. 
Can you stomp your feet on the ground to make an earthquake sound? Just so I can hear us in the back. It's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Do you think you're ready to tell the story? <laughs> They're not, but it's okay. We need more people to volunteer. Who said that before? Yeah. All right, Roman soldier, you feeling it? Yes. Second soldier. Oh, we've got a soldier with a penguin. Perfect. That's my brother. Yes, it is. Okay. Soldiers, you be over here. We didn't, I have a blow up tomb, but I thought that'd be too much today. So, next week. Sun. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Sun. Everybody else, get ready to be the earthquake. Okay, other Mary, we still don't have. Nope. Soldiers getting out of hand up here. Okay. Was somebody ready to be the other Mary? I can be two Marys at once. All right, we'll see how this goes, everyone. Just enjoy. All right, great, thank you. So just, what about Jesus? Jesus? Okay, it's okay. (laughs) Uh, Great, Jesus, thank you so much. (laughs) Otherwise, it was going to be a long day. Okay. Okay, so people, when you hear your name, I'll kind of point to you, and you'll just do what it says in the script, according to Matthew 28. After the Sabbath, on the first day of the week, the sun was dawning. You have sun. Yes, okay. (laughs) Mary Magdalene, oh, that's me, and the other Mary, that's you. Uh, What do we do? Oh, yeah, we go to see the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Earthquake sounds. For an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, rolled back the stone from the tomb and sat on it. The angel's here. You may stand, angel. Yes. His appearance was like lightning, his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. Basically, just lay on the floor. Yeah. Oh, right. Great. Oh, it's very accurate. But the angel said to the women, which is us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Oh, good. I was getting really scared for a minute there. Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come see the place where he lay. You're still talking. You don't have to say all that after me, though. That's okay. That's okay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he's been raised from the dead. Indeed, he's going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. Okay, did you hear what he said? Jesus is alive, and we have to go tell the disciples. The next thing that happened was they left the tomb quickly with fear. What was the fear? Oh, oh, he looks scared. Hold up fear really high. Yeah, and great joy. Okay, can you look scared and afraid and excited at the same time? Yes, okay. (laughs) Okay, and now we need to go find the disciples. Okay, we left, we're running, we're running. And then Jesus met them and said, Greetings. Yo, wow! (laughs) And they came to Jesus and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, (laughs) I'll just have you read this, Jesus. Right there, yep. Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers, go to Galilee. There they will see me. Don't be afraid. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay, I think I can do that. Do you think we can do that? Okay, we have to go tell people. Okay, bye, Jesus. Thanks for, it was good to, good to see us today. Okay, everyone, um, I guess this, <laughs> guards, are you all going to be okay? I know that was a scary, you can, you can stand back up. Okay, everyone, oh, we did it. We told the whole story. By the time we get there, you all are going to be like, we know that gospel reading already. <gasps> okay, let's take our characters, our son, our fear, our joy, our other Mary, our Jesus, our angel, our swords from the soldiers we don't need this anymore but we do have to do one more thing thank you jesus (laughs) okay we need to do one more thing we have to go tell the people that jesus is alive yes exactly like that you ready okay stand up go tell the people 
Jesus is alive. We can do it. Let's go tell people. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Yay! A reading from Acts, the 10th chapter. Peter began to speak to the people, I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread through Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Ju Judah and Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but... God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as the judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Word of God, word of life. We will now read Psalm 113, 118 responsively. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts silently. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. The Lord indeed punished me sorely but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Here the righteous may enter. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. be seated. Big shout out to the kids for going along with telling the story this morning. I bet you have it memorized by now. The angel, the soldiers, the fear, the joy, the day dawning, Jesus with his greetings as the women on their way to tell the good news of Jesus Christ, experience the risen Christ. Yes, experience the risen Christ in the telling of the risen Christ. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe I'm going to have to give you some jobs. I might need the soldiers back up front here. Adults. This isn't just a story. This is who God is and this is what God does. We are people of the resurrection, people of the cross and resurrection. God takes the suffering of the world into God's very self and God gives us life. God gives us life. And so Mary and the other Mary can barely contain their joy and their fear as they go to tell the disciples we have seen the Lord and they experience Jesus on the way. On the way. And eventually when the disciples do meet with Jesus in Galilee, do you know what he says to them? Do you know what he says? Go to the ends of the earth and I will be with you always to the end of the age, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, making disciples and teaching what I have taught you to the ends of the earth. But why don't you just start? Can you start here for a minute? (laughs) Can you just turn to your neighbor and say, Jesus is alive? Please do that now. Jesus is alive. (laughs) Yes. 
Because if we practice it enough here, if we practice resurrection here, it's not going to be so hard when we're out in the world staring into the maw of death. Do you know what I mean? If we start practicing resurrection here, by the time we get out there and are staring hate and division and death and children dying in schools, oh, now she went there, didn't she? You cannot talk about the resurrection unless you are serious about the reality of death in our world. This is what we're contending with. And we are people of the resurrection. We are people of hope. We are people who have a God that goes all the way into death and all the way back out to say, you can have life. There is life, but you have to say yes to it. And if you say no, God will let you say no because God is not a coercive and violent God. God is a God of healing. Look at Jesus' ministry. He healed. He did not punish. He made whole. He made communities. He returned people to their communities. He healed them completely, body, mind, relationships. That is what God does. That is where God is going. And will we follow? Do we have the audacity to step into the graveyards of this world and expect to see the risen Christ? Or will we wait and hide? Lock the doors. Seal the windows. No fresh air gets into that room. We have journeyed with Jesus to the cross. We have seen the risen one, marks still in his hands, the one who took on the suffering of the world to tell us that suffering isn't the way it has to be. So when you look to your neighbor and say Jesus is alive, you are proclaiming that death is not the end. We do not have to live this way anymore. We are agents of the resurrection. So when we go out into the world and we see pain and loss and suffering, we are not afraid. We are not afraid. We are not afraid to stand alongside those who are the ones on the cross right now. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. God has been inviting you into new life since the day you were born. God will invite you into new life after you die, but you don't have to wait to experience the power of the resurrection until after you die. You just have to wake up. You just have to breathe. You just have to say, Jesus, I know you are alive, and I will be given new life too, and my community will be given new life too, and your world will be given new life too. That is the direction we walk when we leave the graveyard. We see the crosses in the distance, friends, and you know those Romans left the bodies up there to scare everybody else into submission. Don't say anything that'll offend someone. Don't talk about that topic here. Where else am I supposed to talk about it? Are we people of the resurrection or are we people of death? Jesus came so that all may have life and have it abundantly. So we take our magnifying glasses and we look in our lives, we look in our communities, we look through our nation's laws and we find the places where life is not abundant for people and we decide to go there and we testify to the resurrection there and we say whatever we need to do to make life possible there and we come alongside our neighbors who are suffering there. On Thursday night of last week, just a few days ago, four, three, we sat in this room and we heard Jesus talk to his disciples before he was arrested and taken away and he gave them a new commandment, a very old commandment, but a new commandment saying, love as 
I loved you. I give you a new commandment that you should love one another as I have loved you. And when we live out that love, we are practicing resurrection now. And I wanted to read you some of your answers. We asked you the question, how will you love the world as Jesus loved? How will you put that agape love into practice? How will you let God work through you? That same power that rose Jesus from the dead is at work in you. Here's what some of you said. Here's how you're going to love. Love people who are not easy to love. Pay attention to the needs and preservation of water and forests. Here's one for the, from the kids. God loved everyone in the earth. Be a safe place for victims to go to. Use natural resources carefully to minimize waste so all people may enjoy our world. I delivered food to my friends in my building and wished them a happy Easter so they knew they were blessed. Freely accepting others no matter how different they may be from me, wanting the best for them and working for their benefit. Foster inclusion, address microaggressions with intention and love. Be a place where everyone feels welcome. And one more from the kids. Oh, look. It's you. There's a little room at the table for more. That's what I'm talking about. Are you people of the resurrection or are you people that succumb to the hopelessness? Sometimes we do and we sit in Holy Saturday for as long as we need, but guess who will show up in the place of death for you. The resurrection life is not just to be lived after we die. It is lived now. A lot of people have talked about the resurrection. A lot of people have talked about the cross. I picked one quote to share with you today. This is from Clarence Jordan, co-founder of Koinonia Farms in Americus, Georgia, which was founded in 19. 42, this is a place where equity and equality happened way before the Civil Rights Act, way before desegregation. People were sitting at the table together. Workers were paid fair wages. The, air, the earth was cared for properly. Koinonia Farms is a place where Habitat of, for Humanity was born from. Just as an example of how they continue to do work in the world, this is what Clarence Jordan says about the resurrection the resurrection of Jesus was simply God's unwillingness to take our no for an answer. God raised Jesus not as an invitation to us to come to heaven when we die, but as declaration that God's self has established permanent, eternal residence here on earth. God is standing beside us, strengthening us in this life. The good news of the resurrection of Jesus is not that we shall die and go home to be with him, but that he has risen and comes home with us, bringing all his hungry and naked and thirsty and prisoner siblings with him. My friends, we will experience the risen Christ today and every day. And that's not because of a great sermon or a fuzzy feeling or because it's Easter, but because that is who God is and that is what God does. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. <clears throat>
Together, as resurrection people, we confess our common faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternal begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from God. United in hope and the joy of the resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. <clears throat> you call your church to witness to your salvation. We give thanks for Dietrich Bonhoeffer and all theologians, preachers, and teachers who proclaim your gospel. Equip all the baptized to share the joy of the resurrection in all we say and do. Risen Lord, in your mercy, you bring abundant life throughout creation. The green blade rises and all creation greets the resurrection dawn. Preserve vineyards and orchards and those who tend to them. Feed us with the fruits of creation. Risen Lord, in your mercy, you show your steadfast love without regard to borders, barriers, or human-made divisions. Infuse your justice in every nation of the world, that all experience the peace that only you can give. Risen Lord, in your mercy, you anointed your Son with the Holy Spirit and with power. Encourage us by his example in our ministries of healing, care, and outreach. We pray for all who are sick or hospitalized, and for all health care workers who care for them, Risen Lord, in your mercy, you have put gladness in our hearts. Inspire musicians and dancers to rejoice with songs of victory. Bless the music ministries of this congregation and all who foster our assembly song. Risen Lord, in your mercy, you promise to listen to our prayers. Hear now our intentions for healing, restoration, and new life that we share out loud or in the silence of our hearts. Risen Lord, in your mercy, as you have raised Jesus from the dead, you show us your resurrection promise. With your holy ones who have sung your praise, free us from fear and empower us to go and tell the good news. Risen Lord, in your mercy. Rejoicing in the victory of Christ's resurrection, we lift our prayers and praise to you, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us share words and signs of Christ's peace with one another.
A few announcements to share as you continue sharing the peace of Christ. Welcome, dear church. Your presence makes a difference in our worship today. If you are new, if you feel new, if you have new contact information, have a prayer request, or just haven't filled one out in a while, those white and blue cards in your pews may be filled out and placed in the offering plate as you leave today. We do have an appetizer and game night for youngish people planned. That's people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. But if you're 52 and you show up, we're letting you in. (laughs) That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Friday, April 28th from 5 to 7, bring some appetizers uh, and games. If you need child care, that will be available for those who request it at $10 per family. If you have questions or would like to RSVP, please talk to Trevor or to myself. Also, if you have friends that are not Emmanuel members, bring them. That'd be great. I would like to say thank you to everybody who had a hand, a voice, and and a full body involved in Holy Week this year. As you know, we do 57 worship services during Holy Week. Oh, you weren't here for those 57? All that to say, many thank yous to those who make Holy Week and Easter possible, the worship volunteers, assisting ministers, readers, ushers, communion assistants, altar guild, AV volunteers, acolytes, festival choir, guest musicians, decorators, staff. We have Janice, Dawn and Bob, Matt and Trevor, and all of you and the kids for showing up to tell the story today. Many thanks to everyone who makes Holy Week come alive in such a special way. Thank you again for your continued support of the many ministries of Emmanuel as we strive to follow God in all aspects of life, including financially. Thank you for giving in the many and various ways that you do that. Offering plate is in the back of the church. We will gather and be fed at Christ's table this morning. Here's how communion works at Emmanuel. The ushers will release you into the center aisle. You can come up and hold out your hands for a wafer and then take a small cup from the silver tray that's filled with de-alcoholized wine. We do have gluten-free elements available. Simply let your server know. Put the small cups in the baskets by the pillars and return to your pews by the side aisle. If you'd like to come up and not receive communion but receive a blessing, put your hands over your shoulders like so, and young kids who haven't yet had their first communion will also receive a blessing this morning. This is the meal where we are made one with Christ and one with each other. You are welcome at this table.
let us pray. Generous God, in this meal you offer your very self. We give thanks for these gifts of the earth. In the breaking of this bread, reveal to us the risen one. In the pouring of this wine, pour us out in service to the world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give our thanks and, and praise. praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Loving God, we praise you for creating the heavens and the earth. We bless you for bringing Noah and his family through the waters of the flood, for freeing your people Israel from the bonds of slavery, and for sending your Son to be our Redeemer. We give you thanks for Jesus, who living among us healed the sick, fed the hungry, and with a love stronger than death gave his life for others. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, blessed it and broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, blessed it and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his death, we cry out, Amen. Amen. Celebrating his resurrection, we shout, Amen. Amen. Trusting his presence in every time and place, we plead, Amen. Amen. Breathe your spirit on us and on this bread and cup. Carry us in your arms from death to life, that we may live as your people, clothed in the righteousness of Christ through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our Come and know Christ, who lived, was crucified, and risen for you. You may be seated.
please rise as you feel comfortable. Let us pray. Gracious God, in you we live and move and have our being. With your word and this meal of grace, you have nourished our life together. Strengthen us to show your love and serve the world in Jesus' name. Amen. The God of all who raised Jesus from the dead bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit to live in the new creation. Amen. Amen.